Hey, Casey Guy 2 here, No Nonsense Know How. Today, doing a quick video showing you how to replace the blower motor switch on this 2012 Ford E250. This should work for a lot of the other E Series vans and even uh, Ford trucks. We're going to be using the Motorcraft factory part here. I'll put a link on. You can get these on Amazon for about 15 to 20 bucks. <clears throat> Made in USA. Now, you can just feel by touch that this one's all chunked up and burned up on the inside. Uh, these are pretty common to go bad. This car has 118,000 miles on it, truck should I say. And uh, I'm not going to go into all the diagnostic procedures on how to diagnose the HVAC in this because there's already a few other good videos on that online. I just want to show you guys how to get to this, how to replace it. it might be a little intimidating at first looking. I mean, you know, how do you get to this thing? How are you going to pull it out? Uh, obviously, you're going to be reusing this right here, so pop that off. And then there's your switch. So now if you go around this whole dash piece here <clears throat> and uh, and start pulling with your hands, you can get, get behind here or you might have to get a plastic tool, but this whole thing literally just has quick clips around the whole thing and the whole piece will just pop off like that. Once you get it to that point, uh, I'm going to have to put the phone down for a second, but you're going to kind of work it out. You might you want to put your steering all the way down. You might have to put this down in the first gear, but uh, you're going to get your hands behind there and get the wires off for, for you know, this, the jack, uh, your outlets and such. And uh, you got one switch over here and then kind of just get this piece out of here. All right, on this side, I found it easier to just push this switch out from the back and get to the connection. You're gonna squeeze this tab on the back right here to pop that off. And then come, this is gonna be a little bit better to get out of here. So come come on this side here. You gotta get behind here and get all these connections off because there's not a lot of a lot of space to pull this out and get room at all. All right, so I've got this thing out this far, and this is about as far as I'm gonna to have to go uh, to get here. You know, you're gonna to have to squeeze in on this side, uh, getting in here with a pocket screwdriver, looking in from the top side. You can get to these connectors. Now, they didn't really give you a lot of wire length, so it is tough, and you gotta make sure these are kind of in a neutral position, and you can't be tugging on them when you push these connector tabs in, because otherwise, you know, they'll never, they'll never come off or you're gonna break them. Uh, also had one up top here. And then this kind of gives you enough room um, to get back here. We can see that that uh, piece is actually melted down there. Now, one thing I'll note here is it might be a good idea to take this bezel off the steering here. That's going to have uh, three, I think, probably three Phillips on the bottom. You know, it was definitely a little bit of a bear to sneak this past there. Um, I was able to get it back, you know, get it off without breaking anything. Um, but again, this is about as far as I'm going to have to take it. So, all right, so that was a quarter inch screw holding that on. I used a ratcheting wrench from the backside to get to that. You can see this switch is melted pretty good internally as well. Uh, so like I said, you could kind of feel that on the switch for sure. And we can see the connector here has a pretty good meltdown on it. So we're going to be replacing that. I'll also put a link in there for the uh, pigtail that you're going to need for that. You have two options. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and uh, solder and heat shrink these on. I'm not going to show you how to do that because there's a ton of YouTube videos on how to solder. So you, know, you cut these at the long length and solder that in. And just for you guys that may not have access to a solder or butt connectors to, to crimp the new connector on and just want to use the plastic, you're going to use a pick like this in the connector. Uh, you know, those little tabs on the top, pry those back. And then once you do, you can literally just pop this out like that. That connector kind of sits in here. And then on the old one, you can get a pair of dikes or something like that and actually just start breaking it apart very carefully. And make sure that you note the position of your wires. Uh, there's a view of it in case that helps you guys out. But yeah, if you're going to go that method, that's, that's the way you would do it. It's a good idea to replace the whole thing because, you know, these, these have suffered some heat damage and such. And, uh, you know, that, that does uh, destroy the metal a little bit. So anyway, putting this back together, real simple, guys. Just make sure uh, once you get this back into position, which is going to be the hardest part, you know, don't break this thing. And again, take this bezel off down here if you need to. I was able to slip it right by without a major problem. Um, but just before you go snapping everything on, make sure you got all your connectors back on there. And then, uh, you know, these tabs right here, you're going to have these quick clips on the back just make sure they're all lined up before and then once they are you just pop this thing right back on so anyway guys and then uh, you know of course put your put your cap back on and you're gonna have that one quarter inch screw holding the thing on from the back and so I verified all my connectors are on all the switches on got this over here everything lined up all these tabs switch operates as it should and then you can go ahead and just snap this thing right back into place like that and you're good to go guys so now with the key on vent on all our blower speeds work awesome so anyway 
Uh, this video was not designed to be super specific and show you exactly what to do, you know, um, but I think I showed you the general information, what you're going to have to do here. And I'd be lying if I said getting this, this off is, is uh, super breezy, just pops right off. You know, it's, it's not. So anyway, hopefully you found this is helpful. Uh, this probably works for a lot of different uh, Ford vehicles. Let me know if you find this does work for your truck or van, uh, what model and, and year it was. I would definitely appreciate that if you, if you put that in there. I'll get those links in the description and i thank you very much for watching guys give it a thumbs up if it helps you out kz guy too no nonsense no how